This is Algebra 2 with Trig 6C.1B, working on specifically the inverse of exponential and logarithmic functions. So there are three main steps that we do with these. Number one, write f of x as y. That's the first thing that we do. If it's written as f of x, we just write it that as a y. And then the hint that they show here, you switch the x and the y in the equation. And then the third step Solve for this new location of y. You want to get y by itself. And by doing that, you're going to create what's considered the inverse. It's going to be reflected. Here, here's a little example. This is exponential. So this is exponential growth by switching the x and y and solving we are going to reflect all of those points over the line y equals x what type of graph might this be it would be a logarithm so what's the equation going to be exactly Well, if you write the f of x as a y, and you switch the x and the y, now we want to solve for an exponent. We want to get the exponent by itself. So how do we get this exponent all by itself? You cannot divide by 5. The only way we can get to the exponent is to use a logarithm. A logarithm does what? It solves for the exponent. And if y is the exponent, then the logarithm is going to equal y. So this is log base 5 of x equals y. So that's what this equation here would be, y equals log base 5 of x. This one up here was y equals 5 to the x, and we reflected it across y equals x. That is our inverse. So you might want to write that as f inverse of x equals log base 5 of x. That would be the best way to write it. This is exponential. So what do you think its inverse is going to look like? If this is exponential, its inverse is going to be a logarithm. So we're going to need a logarithm as its inverse. So the first thing we do is set this up, getting rid of the f of x, changing it out for y, switching our x and the y, now we have to get to that y, we want it to be y equals. First thing you've got to do is move the 2 across. x minus 2 equals 3 to the y power. Log, what's our base? Log base 3 of x minus 2 equals the exponent. You can put the y on the left or the right, it doesn't matter. So 
So we'd probably want to write this as f inverse of x equals log base 3 of x minus 2. This is just function notation. Okay, All right, since it started in function notation, we should end it in function notation. So if you want to go from this step, and instead of writing y equals, you could go right to f inverse, because you kind of know this is the last remaining step. You could write it there. It would be best if you wrote it in function notation. This is a logarithm. So what's its inverse going to be? So we're going to switch the x and the y. This is log base 11 of y. There's no exponent in here. Wait, so we still follow the same step? Following the same step. All we're calculating is an inverse. So we first wrote f of x as y. We switched the x and the y. Now we have to get inside this logarithm. We have to get to the y. The only way to get to the y is to break up the logarithm. How do you break up a logarithm to get inside? Crack the logarithm. So if, here's our logarithm. We're going to write it in exponential form. So we're going to say 11 Logarithm equals the exponent. And that equals y. You can put the y on the right or the left. So it would be best to write this as f inverse of x equals 11. Uh, 11 to the x power. Here's a logarithm. What do we think we're doing here? Well, of course, we're going to switch. That would be y. Then we're going to switch where the x and the y are. Now we want to get into this logarithm. So what do we need to realize? Over here, we went from the logarithm into exponential form. So we are going to write in exponential form. And correct, this logarithm, anytime you're dealing with ln, natural log, the base is e. A logarithm equals the exponent. <laughs> then we add the 4 across, and that's e to the x power plus 4 equals y. And if you want to write it as function notation, That would be the best way to do it. Now you try this on your own. Pause the video, work through five and six. Come on back and I'll walk you through it. So for our first one, of course, our rules are to write f of x 
with as a y, then switch our x and the y. Now we're going to try to isolate the exponential part. So we have e to the y power. Well, there's no way that we can get to the y by division, by adding, by subtracting. The only way to get to this y is to write a logarithm. Now, this logarithm has to have a base of e. You could write it, or you could consider writing it as log with a little base of e. But that's not really the correct notation. That's not going to get you very far. The correct notation for log base e is to use natural log. That is log and that's the e all put together. Why are the letters not nl? So like natural log. Why is it log natural? <laughs> Some great questions. So the logarithm with the base of e is going to equal your exponent. So it's natural log of x minus 5 equals y. And we would want to write that in function notation. So I was hoping you were going to work on 6 also, which is y equals 6 plus log of x. We subtracted the 6 across. Now we have this logarithm. For us to get inside the logarithm, we have to get rid of the logarithm. This y is inside the logarithm. This is log of y. This is a common log with a base of 10. So it's going to be 10 to the y power. No, it's not. This is 10 to a logarithm equals the exponent. So the exponent is x minus 6. Just keep repeating that part. The logarithm equals the exponent. So we can write this as f inverse equals 10 to the x minus 6 power. So when is, sorry, when is I'll do these next two with you. This is exponential. So I already have an idea of what its inverse is supposed to be like. It should be a logarithm with a base of 3. So I'm going to first write my f of x as y. Then I'm going to switch my location of the x and the y. Before I incorporate the logarithm, I'm going to isolate this exponential portion. So I'm going to move my 7 across. So this is x plus 7 equals 3 to the y plus 4. Now I have my base to an exponent. I can't get to that exponent in this format. How do I make this exponent equal something? So I use a logarithm. So a logarithm is going to equal y plus 4. And it's log base 3 of x plus 7. Then we subtract the 4 across. So I'll just go right into f inverse equals log base 3 x plus 7 minus 4. Why is it plus I took my 7 here and I added it across. So that became x plus 7. And I wrote it as, a logar as, as the inverse using a logarithm. So that's where the x plus 7 came from. Here we have a logarithm. 
If we're going to do the inverse, we know that the inverse is going to be some sort of exponential. The exponential has a base. My base is going to be 3. Before we go quite that far, let's switch our f of x out of there. Let's switch the location of the x and the y. Now we need to solve. I'm going to have to move the 2 over. So I'm adding 2. So this is x plus 2 equals log base 3 of y minus 9. Now I've got my logarithm isolated. I have to get inside the logarithm. So what allows me to do that? How do I crack the logarithm open? Exponential form is going to give me my 3. The logarithm equals the exponent. Of y minus 9. So we're going to add the 9 across. So that's 3 to the x plus 2 plus 9. And that's going to equal our function notation. f inverse of f of x. Our f inverse of x. Threw an extra f in there. All right, pause the video and work through these last two. So we're going to write the y first. We're going to switch the x and the y. We would add the 3 across. Now here comes the tricky part. We can't write a logarithm from here. We have to get rid of the one-third. To get rid of the one-third, we're going to multiply this by 3. And when we multiply it 3 to the other side, we have to distribute that through. So this is 3x plus 9. This side, the 3 crosses off, and we're left with just 2 to the y power. Now the exponential is isolated. So we can write it as a log base 2 of 3x plus 9, and that equals our y, or our f inverse of x. So with our very last one, we'll write it as y. Switch our x and the y. So we're dividing by the two. Now we have got we have the logarithm all by itself. How do we crack into the logarithm? We write an exponential. We would need to know what the base was of this logarithm. That's going to be e. What is the logarithm equaling? That's going to be the exponent of y plus 1. So we're going to subtract the 1 across. By subtracting 1, we see that we get e to the x divided by 2 power minus 1. 